and some weather <laughs> and some news. And Dan, you got that drought monitor yes, up? Yes, drought monitor. Of course, this came out, Taylor, this is your favorite map. It came out yes. Thursday. It comes out every Thursday, in fact. And we are abnormally dry for much of the state here in Springfield and the lower valley. We're not in a drought situation yet. Now, keep in mind, this isn't major yet. It wouldn't be a bad thing if we got rain and we're getting rain now, certainly. Uh, but on that one to five scale of drought, we're at a one right now for parts of Western Mass and a good chunk of the state as well. In fact, central and northern New England, the drought situation a little bit more problematic, but we are picking up some rain, but not a ton today. Just maybe a tenth, two tenths of an inch of rainfall at that. So going forward, it is looking, let me see if I can back up here. I thought I loaded we weren't going to have rain this upcoming week. I guess not. Anyway, temperature wise, 47. We'll get to it. 47 degrees now. There's some showers that are scattered about. Notice your temperature and your dew point. You know, when you have uh, a rainstorm, if it's raining good and you're getting meaningful rainfall, the temp and dew point match, but we have a layer of dry air in here. So a lot of what's falling is having a difficult time reaching the ground. It's just been so dry. So we're moistening up the atmosphere slowly, but surely. So again, here's the uh, situation. It is dry, Northampton, Greenfield, and across the hill towns and higher terrain. Here's the expected rainfall this week. Today, low. I mean, you know, we might pick up a tenth, two tenths of an inch of rain. It's cloudy and cool all day long. Tomorrow and Wednesday, next to none. I mean, there could be a spot shower, but both of those days look dry. And then maybe Thursday, late in the afternoon as we go into Thursday night and Friday, we could be talking about a coastal storm with perhaps a decent amount of precipitation at that point and then drying it out as we head into this upcoming weekend the way it looks now. But this week, certainly not as nice as it was last week. Very difficult to beat last week's weather. Just so nice. We've had four or five days in a row up over 70 degrees. Of course, the warmest was Saturday when we got up to 77. You could feel the cool air working in yesterday. And now we have some showers that are around. Notice the moisture to the south and west trying to move up in our direction. And then it slides our way. But it gets up to about Franklin County in Worcester County. And then it kind of puts on the brakes and starts heading back our way because we have strong high pressure to our east. And it's bringing in some of that drier air. So it's gobbling up a lot of the rain fall and moisture. Nevertheless, we stay damp and cool today. As the kids head to school, there'll be some sh scattered showers around. Everything that's falling will generally be light. Temps in the mid 40s. As they're heading home, we're around 50 degrees. Cloudy skies with maybe a spot shower and there'll be a bit of a breeze too out of the east and northeast at about 5 to 15. So today, showers most of the afternoon. It's not raining. Tomorrow we'll dry it out further. So it's a mainly dry day. Lots of clouds, but some sunshine too. And I think Wednesday Wednesday ends up being the pick of the week, the brightest day before perhaps additional precipitation, more meaningful precipitation comes in here as we go into Thursday night and Friday. And I say precipitation because it might be cold enough in some spots in elevated areas Thursday night and Friday that we could actually be talking about some wet snow, believe it or not. It is April. We can get snow in April, right? We've seen that many a time. All right, right now we have some of those showers, particularly across Franklin County, spotty showers in Greater Springfield. A lot of this, though, is going to have a tendency to dry up later this morning. And as we go into the afternoon, is high pressure off to the east inevitably winds out. But that area of high pressure to our east will keep the clouds around as we go through the day today. Showers this morning at 9 o'clock. By the time we get into the afternoon, temperatures near 50, leftover clouds, spot shower here and there. And then tonight, clouds will actually break apart, perhaps, we get drying coming in from the east with that high pressure system. Tomorrow, though, it's mostly cloudy, generally a dry day. Some sunshine works in in the afternoon. Temperatures 55 to 60 degrees, and then we're a little brighter, a little milder by Wednesday with temps coming up into the 60s. So rain totals today, lots of goose eggs here. So we're not talking about a lot, maybe a tenth, two tenths of an inch of rain as we go through this morning. Temperatures near 50, but tomorrow, even with a little bit of sunshine in the afternoon that goes a long way with highs up near 60 and Wednesday low to mid 60s before things start to go downhill by the end of the week. And we'll have more on that potential coastal storm Thursday into Friday coming up on our next weather hit. We'll see you after the break in a few minutes. Taylor, back over to you. You need to hear me that we are going to be prosecuting people